Pocket monsters, everybody knows them, or should I say Pokemon? But how come these monsters turned out to be less monsters than what other franchises do? Like literally, look at them, they look like they just turned into Decepticons. Ever since I was a little boy, I always thought the idea of having my own personal Pokemon fabulous. Like he would be like right here and he would be my best friend and everything. But for some reason, once I got older, I just found very weird they just used them to fight to death. Well, almost to death. And I don't know, made me a little bit uncomfortable, but I guess it's their job. I guess they like it. I guess inside of the little Pokeball, there's like a paradise. I always liked the idea of Metawatt. Just the idea that it's a robot and you can use it interchange parts and everything just seemed more real to me. And they don't feel pain, I think. Wait. Today, we are going to recreate five of my favorite Pokemons into the monsters they should be. Number five will surprise you. Wait, how do these phrases make people click? One. Killbone from Cub Baby and Bone Bone. When I started modeling, I thought Mr. Q was a very just fun and cute guy. But suddenly... Wait, what? This must be like the saddest story I've ever seen in my life. What do you mean he wears his mother's skull? Wait, what does he look like without it? No, mm -mm. nope. We are going to respect his privacy. He's like a Mexican luchador. His mask is his identity and we are going to respect that. So that's what I did. After modeling his body and his bone, I just went to find his mom, take her skull out and boom bada boom. Voila. I wonder what happened when he grows. Does the skull grow with him? Or maybe... Polygon. I guess it was supposed to be Polygon, but maybe uh, an employee misheard? Whoa, ho, ho, ho. this is the best new Pokemon design ever. Uh, Yuki meshi -san. we need to do register as a new name of your Pocket Monster. Oh, Polygon. It's a reference to and thank you letter to all 3D art. People will love my pocket monster. So what was the name of your horrible Pokemon? The cuboid one. Porygon? So naturally, as a 3D artist, I had to do the most 3D Pokemon there is. So I'll try to make him as interesting as possible. He definitely doesn't deserve to be in the list of uh, the least fun Pokemons. At least not on my watch. He will always remain in my heart. I thought it would be a walk in the park, but the angles and specific polygons were just very precise and maybe I overcomplicated myself. So, without any further ado, here is the Polygon Pokemon in Polygons. You know what you get when you mix his helmet in this? Yes, Kabutops. And keeping with the Polygon tradition, yes, that's how it's going to be called from now on. I decided to make Kabutops a little bit blocky. It also helps with the shape and with sculpting.
Ever since I saw him in the series, I thought that Cabletop was just like this extinct animal, you know, like those that we used to see in a uh, in children's book about dinosaurs. So I really thought he was extinct like for a million years. But then I dug a little bit deeper. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. They exist? That thing isn't extinct, or at least something similar. Wait a moment. Do people eat it? Okay, okay, if there's a real monster in this video, it's certainly Cabo Tops. How? Okay, 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 the second most monstrous. And here it is. I'm a big fan of this one, but definitely I will be a bigger fan of you if you subscribe. Hey, that's pretty good. Special mention to number four, loved by many, hated by others, especially hated for the Pokédex for some reason. Magikarp, best Pokemon ever, right out of the water, legendary, dead, tasty, alive, fighting machine. The only bad thing about Magikarp is that his evolution sucks. So let's get right into it and show it in all its glory. It's time. Who's that Pokemon? But just something before. If you have Abra and Kadabra, like if you mix them, shouldn't you get Abra Kadabra? Is it just me or I'm missing something? It's Alakazam! Alakazam! Okay, okay, it's Alakazam. Huh, I tricked you, didn't I? You thought I would say that cool, awesome, super cool DJ. So I always liked this guy. He seemed like a lizard combined with a rat, like splinter. So I did a little research and I found that his IQ is 5,000. Wait, wait, wait. What? Like, it's... It's a huge amount of difference. He shouldn't be considered a Pokemon. He should be like a god or something. How has he? How has he not controlled over the world yet? Why hasn't he conquered the world by now? Let's slap big brain into it. And and suddenly, not only did his weight increase. 800%? But with the brain also, his polygon count increased by millions. I love that his weapon is a spoon. Like, he could literally just choose anything. He could use a nuclear bazooka, uh, katanas, or even invent something totally new. Yet he chose a spoon. Imagine if Oppenheimer just decided to unveil his new spoon instead of a bomb. Wouldn't that be anticlimactic? And with that, we conclude today's journey. So if you like this, please subscribe and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.